Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we continue with free energy research. Today I prepared for you the Donald Kelly magnetic wheel drive. So basically this is some kind of magnetic motor. You will see it, it does have the stator and rotor and the permanent magnets on the both sides. And we produce some kind of free energy. How the Donald Kelly describes in the patent. But yet it's very strange this time because we do need, as in many other similar magnetic systems, we need an input source to, for this to run. And, and can it make more energy on the output than the energy we need on the input to make this run? I don't know. But yet the interesting is how he wants to use and where he wants to get this free energy source. So let's get to the drawings and see what was his idea. Alright viewers, let's see what is the Donald Kelly magnetic wheel drive and why this system should be interesting to us, us people who are exploring the free energy. Okay, from the beginning I must say that this does not run only purely on the, from the permanent magnets, which are here, you see this red and blue are the permanent magnets, but yet you can see that there are two motors here, and these are not unfortunately output power motors, these are the motors which are needed to uh, that this system can run. So really we need an input energy in this system that we get the output energy on this main shaft on where there are permanent magnets on the rotor. So this is the this this will give some output power. And let's let, let's now see how this should work. Yeah? Okay so you can see that there are uh, so there is no special uh, Thing to explain the rotor so it has 18 permanent magnets uh, mounted in this kind of uh, L-shaped um, yeah, holders and now uh, what is the much more interesting here is this stator magnets yeah? the stator magnets are basically they're moving left and right yeah? and how do they do that yeah? so for this of course we need these motors yeah and you can see now if I select this shaft, yeah, you can see that this this motor will move this in special way, these permanent magnets on the stator, left and right. Yeah? So, so if I go back now here to the first magnet, let me show you how this will happen. Rotate. So, so when this model will spin, these magnets will go left and right, uh, some some in this way. Yeah, and you can see now on the right side. That this is the rotor is the red and the stator is the red so like poles will repel each other and of course in this system now this rotor will spin in the clockwise direction and repel itself from this stator mechanism set up with the permanent magnets so that's basically it yeah so now we have these two sets of of uh, of motors yeah which which need to move these stator magnets left and right yeah? so, so you can see if I move it now so this is the two sets they will move these magnets left and right on their shafts yeah? and that's it so, so this is the whole setup which will run the rotor to spin and why would that be even interesting yeah that's the here the story so basically we are making the we have the, the we have the standard motor yeah? so we, we need an permanent magnets and move them to move the rotor in a specific way and we need an input energy to get some output energy and probably this energy will be higher than the output energy we will get but yet the idea of this design is that this dc motors left and right one now i selected will be powered through the solar system yeah? so the solar system will it's i think small energy needed to run this uh, left and right and it will be powered through the solar system which is also some kind of green energy or free energy yeah? and then we have on the output shaft our output energy or output energy source and yeah there is no description if this if this energy on the output is higher than the energy needed for this to run so in, in the in the watt hours or however we measure it but yet this is the idea of the system we need them we need them small power on the input to move these permanent magnets uh, on the rotor with this set of the stator magnets on the stator and that's basically it okay viewers so you have seen so it's not too difficult patent and not too logical because we do need an input source which can be in his case the 
solar cells or, or I don't know, wind power, but yet we can run this system only when we have these input sources available for this to be a free energy on the output. If this uh, produced energy is higher than the energy um, we put in the system. But yeah, it's strange. I doubt this is strange system and the strange name of the patent and there are many more, uh, I think, many more better ones and I will try to find them and try to exp explore them and even I'm waiting for some permanent magnets to arrive because I have some ideas which, which I will show you, some experiments which I will do to see how this potential energy in the magnet is preserved and how can it be maybe extracted because it's in the end it's an unlimited source. The permanent magnet is an unlimited source of potential energy and the problem is how to get this energy out because we can use it again and again until the magnet wears out. But okay, this is the topic for another video and for now thank you for watching and stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.